Hey everybody, this is Sparhawk, and welcome back, of course, to another episode of Persona 4. So, I kind of cut off in the middle from the last episode, and I apologize. I typically don't do this, I try not to, but it felt like it had to be done, and unfortunately, there's even more story that I even, like, remembered, so we're actually probably not going to hit a dungeon for a little while now. So, anyway, let's go ahead and move on. Later that day. Thank you very much. Your receipt's in the bag. Seems like the crowds are thinning out, so we'll be leaving now. If it gets rowdy again, just give us a call at the station. Okay. Uh, hang on a second. I'm sorry, but there's some things I'd like to ask you. You do know that there have been multiple violent cases around here lately, yeah? Have you seen anyone suspicious around? Not really. It's been like always. Like always? Well, you're an idol, so I imagine you deal with folks like fans, paparazzi, and stalkers quite often. What made you take a break from showbiz? Does it really matter? Oh, she did not like that question. I just needed a rest. And have you registered for school? I'm planning on going to Yasugami High. It was the closest. Hey, that's the same school Charlie goes to. You know, I, I kind of wonder, like, how many how many schools are in Inaba? You know, like, it, it seems like such a small town, you'd think there'd only be, like, one. Well, I don't mean to alarm you, but... You do have some things in common with the recent victims. That's why, well... I might be kidnapped, right? I've been told that before. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Huh? Someone told you already? It was three guys. They were wearing uniforms, so I think they were high school students. Did one of them happen to look... How do I put it? Did he look something like a, a gang member? Wait, you think she's talking about your nephew and his friends? Uh-oh, we've been outed. Dojima is going to be hell beyond to us now. Mm. He knows. He knows. Something smells here. The recent disappearances between those and the two homicides, there's too many questions with no answers. To tell the truth, I followed my detective's intuition and came here to warn her. How could high school kids who know less than we do beat us to the punch? Were they just making up an excuse to talk to a famous celebrity? Or... <sighs> Sir? Yasugami Hai. The second victim, Saki Konishi. And two other students who were missing for a while. I guess the investigation of the ones involved with the school hasn't turned up anything either. Are we gonna be in trouble if this keeps up? The prefectural police will be coming soon. They're the least of your worries. Keep your head in the game. All right. So, unfortunately, uh, he's found out that we're kind of involved. We sure have a lot of tofu. Yeah, it tastes great. Uh oh, I feel like an interrogation is coming. You visited Risei Kujikawa today. What did you talk about? Uh, nothing really, just gossip about the cases. Well, no use in lying, because we straight up talked about the cases. Um, and, you know, unfortunately we have information that Charlie shouldn't know. So we'll just go with, uh, about the cases. I told you to keep your hands off this. Listen, this is a job for the police. Forget it. I shouldn't have brought it up. You guys met Risei Chan? <sighs> yeah. Are you fighting again? Of course not. Here, hurry and finish your dinner. 
The tense atmosphere continues into the night. Nanako saved us an ass chewing, though. Thanks, Nanako. It's raining tonight. Will some something appear on TV? Or possibly someone? Let's throw this curtain aside and find out. Ah, take that curtain. A figure appeared. Oh my. It's the same girl as before, still wearing a swimsuit. Her chest area and waist are emphasized. This girl. It's Rize Kujikawa. The image is fairly clear tonight. <laughs> they took the time to actually look at her face this time. Huh. Should you try calling Yosuke? Hell yeah! Yosuke, you check this out! Rize's on the Midnight Channel's hot. I recorded it. Hey, we were right about it being Rize Kujikawa. The one on tonight seemed a lot creepier than the real Rize. But you can see her face clearly. There's no mistake. Let's all get together as soon as possible tomorrow. You hung up. <laughs> he said to go to bed for tonight, of course. So, I'm not sure if she's thrown on the TV or not. I'll leave that up to you guys. I guess we'll find out today. So about the midnight channel last night, that had to be Rise Kujikawa. It even showed her face this time. So now we know one more thing. The ones that the culprit's targeting are... Connected to Miss Yamano, broadcasted on TV, or females from Inaba. Uh, so... You know, all of these have been brought up before, but the most recent uh, sort of idea that's been floating around is broadcasted on TV. So that's what I'm gonna go with. Exactly! So we can rule out the assumption that all the victims are connected to the incident with Ms. Yamano. As for Rise, I took a peek this morning and she was still at the shop. Okay, so she was not thrown on the TV yet. So I'm guessing that TV show thing doesn't appear on the midnight channel until after the person enters the TV. Teddy said before that it might be the victim's own creation upon entering that world. I didn't understand at all at first, but now I feel it may be true. The one that appears on TV is your other self. Maybe the victim's true feelings are shown unconsciously. But we see them on the midnight channel before they disappear. You know, when it's still really fuzzy and you can't tell who it is. How do you explain that part? Yeah, it always happens before the person disappears. Like an advance notice. Or like a ransom note. But who are they announcing it to? And, and for what? I don't know, ask the killer. There's a bunch of stuff I still don't understand. Is it possible that we see those images for the same reason? Huh? What do you mean? If the Midnight Channel shows the victim's true feelings, maybe it does the same for the culprit. Maybe what we're seeing is the culprit's intentions. Well, it's a possibility. The killer can throw people into the TV after all, which means they must have the same power that we do. So, when the killer thinks I'm going to attack someone now, that's what we see on TV? I don't know about that. Well, if we're going to go that far with it, we might as well say that's the basis for that entire world. Like it's some kind of mix of the minds of the victims and the killer. Or maybe it's everyone's minds. Uh, I think so too. That's kind of far-fetched. I don't know. There's no concrete evidence that what they're talking about is true. I mean, it's, we've got to, I mean, there's got to be some reason why it's occurring, but, um, it's hard to even, you know, hard to even decide what it is, so I'm going to say I don't know. And everybody's frustrated. As always, nothing makes sense. Hey, Kanji-kun, you still with us? You haven't said a word yet. Yeah, he has been pretty quiet. Uh, well, uh, um, well, um. You weren't sleeping, were you? Uh, of course not. I was, uh, <clears throat> lost in thought. <laughs> I bet. 
I Kanji is, what oh. that world's all about. Kanji isn't much of a, a thinker. Teddy's explanations have so many maybes in them that I don't understand the first thing about it. Why would the culprit throw people inside the TV in the first place? They must know by now that people die when they're in there long enough. There's no doubt it's attempted murder. So the TV's a good way to do that because the police can never prove anything about the crime. Murder, huh? So the killer's got a grudge against certain people? <laughs> well, I know there's a shitload of people who've got my number. How about you, Yukiko-senpai? Anyone hate you so bad they'd get rid of you forever? No. <laughs> uh, Yukiko, there's always a slight chance and you just don't realize it. <laughs> but if we're trying to think of a common grudge someone would have against all the victims, I'm drawing a blank. Well, the good thing is we have another shot at getting ahead of the killer. We can leave the motive aside for now. Once we catch him, we'll make him talk. The only thing we can be sure of now is that Rise is in danger. Wait, we get to do another stakeout? Did somebody say steak? Hell yeah! This time we'll catch him in the act. All right. Wow, that was a lot of theorizing about what is going on. So nothing, nothing very solid except for Rise is in danger. We gotta go with donuts and milk. You said it. There's no better meal than that for a man on a stakeout. Oh, and throw in some disposable diapers. <laughs> oh, man, of course. For what? They don't even sell those here. We have them at Juness. Uh, too much information. You guys finished yet? Let's hurry up and get going. Excuse me, ma'am, do you have disposable diapers? Oh, hey, it's a dachi. Huh? What brings you here? Oh, uh, well, I'm doing legwork. Uh, what did I do to deserve babysitting detail? I mean, it's nothing major. It's not like Dojima-san ordered me here. So, what are you kids up to? Buying snacks? We were just about to head over to the tofu shop to see Rise-chan. Oh, I see. Hey, I'm on my way there too. Oh, then why don't we go there together? Come on, he's a detective on active duty, not a bad guy to have around. Adachi joins the party. <laughs> no, not really. That would be awesome, though. That would be pretty cool. Rize is tending the shop. Don't stop. The culprit might get suspicious. Well, we walked past here like a thousand times already. Come on out, you bastard. We're ready for you. <laughs> Look! I don't have a lot of a, co a lot of confidence in the dachi. Whoa! Oh, hey! Uh, wh who's there? Hey, he's running away! Get back here! Stop running, damn it! Don't, don't come near me! Shut up! What kind of idiot would listen to. I'll do it, you know. What are you gonna do if I get run over? What are you gonna do? Oh, terrible voice actor! Man, it's just fucking awful. <laughs> I'm watching the waveform of me recording right now and. God, it's gonna sound like shit in the post record. Anyway, sorry. What? No! If the suspect gets injured, the police will be held responsible. They'll get really angry and. Adachi? Uh... I don't give a fuck. Just push him out in traffic. I'll do it, I swear! 
s s get out of here and stop chasing me! Hey, what should we do? Tackle him from the front, tackle him from behind, let Yosuke decide. Well, obviously, we are not going to let Yosuke decide. That is a poor decision. Um, it doesn't really matter what you say here, to be honest. But, uh, the correct, I'm using air quotes here, is tackle him from the front. Yeah, that's the quickest way. If you say, like, tackle from behind, they're just like, nah, you're a dumbass, that's a bad idea. Alright, on my mark. Look, over there, a Martian! <laughs> <laughs> of course, that, of course he fell for that. Ack! How dare you assault an ordinary citizen like... Shut the hell up, murderer! We're taking your punk ass in. What? Time out! What do you mean, murderer? It's no use playing dumb. Wait a second! I just really like Rosette, so I wanted to take a peek in her room. Look, see? All I've got on me is a bunch of cameras. So, like, th this is... He's kind of like the, the Japanese pervert, and I just... For, just so you guys know, in case you didn't know this, in Japan, um, you know, whenever you take a picture on a cell phone or pretty much anything, it makes that snapping sound. In Japan, even if you have your phone on silent or you have your uh, your audio on your phone turned completely off, it will still make that sound. And the reason why they enforce that is so people can't do upskirt shots or take pictures of people without them knowing. It, it makes the sound no matter what you do. So, today you learned. Anyway, moving on. But I'm sure there's a way yep. around that. You're the culprit, all right. No two ways about it. All right, I'll take it from here. We'll hear your story down at the station. <laughs> I've waited to use that line. Please, let me go! I didn't do anything wrong! I know for a fact it's not a crime in this country to take secret pictures! <laughs> yeah, there it is. It's not a crime. <laughs> I don't know. I I wonder wonder if that's actual actually like factual. Huh. Hey, don't you understand what's happening here? You're under suspicion of murder. Come with me. We'll talk about this later. Wow, that went better than I thought. What a coup. Book him, Adachi. I gotta thank you guys for all your help. Well done. Oh, sure. But, you really should stop getting involved with this stuff. It's dangerous. I know Dojima-san was worried sick. Come on, let's go. Is it... really over? The rest is up to the cops. Looks like the killer was a pervert, just like we thought. Wait, does that mean the case is closed? Seriously? Awesome! That's a good question. Is it really closed? Hmm. Hey, we should let Risa know the good news. Oh, hello. Would you like some tofu? Oh, uh, hello. Um... Oh, did you come to see Risa? She seems to have gone out, unfortunately. But wasn't she just here? She does that sometimes. She'll just wander out without a word. You must forgive her. She's quite worn out in many ways. Uh, you, you don't say. She left without saying anything? Come on, you worry too much. She must have just stepped out. I mean, we caught the guy. Well, what are you talking about? We'll discuss it later. If you'll excuse me, I've got to take this guy in for questioning. Man, I can't wait to see the look on Dojima-san's face. She left without saying anything? Could that mean? Shouldn't we look for her? She can't have gone far. Yeah, I agree.
All right, well, Rize could have gone missing. That's not good. I can't find her anywhere. What about you guys? None of the neighbors have seen her. Maybe we're just not looking in the right places, but where could she have gone? Damn it, this can't be good. I hope I'm wrong. Well, we did everything we can. No use griping about it. The weatherman says it's gonna rain tonight. So let's just keep our fingers crossed and tune in. You should make certain to watch the Midnight Channel tonight. Oh, welcome home, big bro. There's a delivery for you. Woo! What did we get? Oh, it's our huge fish combo. Delicious. You get some ice, get some ice cubes and their prize sticker. So, as usual, guys, you know, I didn't really talk a whole lot during this episode and I seen pretty heavy story so I wanted to keep quiet for the most most of it so anyway um, thank you very much for watching and of course if you enjoy my content please like my videos please you know subscribe and you know whenever bake me a cake you know send me nudes as I, as I requested in episode zero I haven't gotten any nudes yet guys I'm, I'm really disappointed so anyway I'll talk to you guys later <laughs>